Hey guys, welcome back to our Season 2 Satisfactory Let's Play Factory whatever. <laughs> Anyways, in the last one, we uh, got everything set up to just kind of start again. Uh, we got our hub done and just our basic stuff going. Uh, between episodes, I went ahead and put our space elevator down. You can see over here. Um, I've also automated just a couple of things. Uh, our rods, plates, screws. So that I can get our first tier of this done, which we're going to do right now. So I just handcrafted our reinforced plates and our rotors. Just because it only takes a few minutes. And I know I'm not going to be probably putting manufacturing of that stuff right here. Because there's only single nodes. And whatever. So... What we're going to do is I'm going to erupt down here really fast and just unlock this and then we'll uh, get building a smoke factory. This is still the coolest thing ever. Seal. I think this is awesome. Yeah, one of the coolest things I've seen in the game in a long time. Especially a game like this. I really hope we get to eventually like go go to space and build something up there. Uh, that'd be cool. All right, let's go uh, check out what we unlocked. I don't remember. Okay, so yeah, it did unlock our uh, coal power. That's what I was thinking. Um, I wasn't 100% sure if it was here, if it was higher. I couldn't quite remember. Um, so anyways, we're gonna do this really fast. I have everything here except for just have to handcraft these couple of uh, items, and then we will. Start working on that. Because it's right here, uh, I know where our uh, nodes are already. And one of the things that I have going on here right now is you can see, like, this is set up, but it's only running on one belt. And same with over here. I only have it running on one, and that's because our power is, like, peaked. And I don't really want to add power when I know we're going to do coal in just a few minutes. And we're also at the point where, like, our belts uh, coming off of our smelter... We're producing 120 off this off of this uh, miner, not smelter, sorry, and we can only transport 60 of it. So to go to three smelters, it, it doesn't work because it's not enough. So we have to get that stuff going real quick, like as well. So I want to spend the first few minutes here just uh, ramping things up a little bit, and obviously getting into this, I don't want to spend a bunch of time doing, you know, handcrafting and stuff, but. I find this is a lot easier until we know where we want to put things, because I, I don't know what I want to do with it yet. I don't want to put things down and then move it and spend eight hours doing it and then moving it again. I did that last time and it, it gets disheartening after a while. You kind of get to a point where you're like, well, I screwed up again, which is the fun of it, but it's tough to show that in videos without it being really, really repetitive and annoying, at least in my opinion. So I'm going to try to spare you guys that and uh, yeah, let me get this stuff handcrafted and I'll be right back. Still, another one of the coolest things. Milestone reach. Long range transportation, as well as the construction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of the way, I want to see this thing fly. Super cool. Uh. Was this thing always this dirty? I feel like they've changed a few things recently. Like, I found. Oh, that's what I found. Um, I was cutting some trees down, and I found mycelia. So I did the research on that. We didn't do that last time, and I don't know what it does. Well, it gives us fabric, apparently. This mycelia can be used to create fabrics. The derived blueprint is now accessible huh. in Hub Tier 1. Additionally, R&D has those. requested Let's... extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. Like, those, like, giant mushroom flowers that I found, kind of like... Oops, wrong stuff. Don't need you, don't need you. Uh, they were like, over here? I don't think I've ever seen them before. I mean, maybe I did and just didn't like worry about cutting them down before. But, what does this need? Okay, so let's research the rest of this because I don't know what it is. I feel like there's a bunch of chains that we didn't do before that we need to this time, for sure. Uh, anyways, we're going to work on... Uh, let's get Logistics 2 going. We'll do worry about Steel, obviously, later. That's down the line. We don't need that. We're nowhere near any of this stuff yet. Uh, one thing I do want to get eventually, though, the Rebar Gun was... I am a huge fan. It was my favorite weapon. But let's get this real quick, because I should have this again in about... About six minutes, and that thing lands. Come on, guy. Hurry up. We're waiting on you now. 
I'm just gonna send this guy back and forth like three more times. We have two or three milestones that are ready to go, so let's do this as soon as we're ready. I swear to God, this looks more rusty. It's really weird. Maybe it's got something to do with the waterfall right here. Be kind of cool. Uh, are we ready to go? Wire, rotor, oops, rotors, plates. Milestone reached. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short range transportation. See, that was one thing, and that's what a lot of people, oops, a lot of people are doing in this game is they expand upwards, which I don't like. And I know it's just like, being stupid. Oh, I wanted to do the next one as fabric. We haven't seen this one before. I've got everything on me that we need, so as soon as that returns... Eight minutes. Holy... Anyways, um... I really like the idea of leaving everything open air like this. Like, maybe not flat, but I don't like having like huge, large factories to go way up into the sky, block out all the view, take out all the trees. I think it's cool to like have to build within the landscape. Even though it does hinder you and it is a little bit harder. Uh, anyways, let's check out our coal generator. Modular frames. We can do that real quick like... Uh, what else was there? Oh, the new conveyors, which we can use right away as well. And, oh yeah, the tractor. Which, we're going to utilize this this time for sure. I definitely want to use this little like ledge here as a road. Uh, because there's a few nodes up here, and like I said before, we're going to move this and our hub to above this. You can see I've already uh, started a pathway up here so we can get up there real easy. And it looks cool being able to look down on this stuff, so that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, so let me get these uh, modular frames together, and let's go build some power. Yeah, guys, so these are those mushroom trees, by the way. I cut this down, and it gave us the crazy mushroom thing, which is weird. I don't know if I've ever seen these before. I'm pretty sure there's spiders back there, by the way. Anyways, uh, we've got our coal nodes. There's two here. There's one right there with the rock on it. And there's another one right there, I think. Uh, so we're just going to use this front one. And my mic sounds like it's crackling, which is really weird. I hope I don't have an issue going on. Anyways, let's um put down our... Where is it? Nope. I want our miner, not our smelter. And let's just... Yeah, what the heck. And we want power, so let's do... I have enough for two coal generators, which will... I mean, we went, we're going from 40 to 100 uh, just this fast, which is nice. Let's, uh, I guess, build a foundation. I really should have brought the chainsaw. I might need to go back for that to clean this up a little bit. Uh, the good thing is you can actually place these things through trees. Which is kind of cool, actually, because it gives you that, like, industrial nature look. Almost like nature's reclaiming, its, uh, reclaiming itself, in a sense. But I don't think you can put the coal generator through the trees. We're going to have to check that out. Plus, these things are huge. If you recall from last time, these things are stupidly big. Oh, you can. It just acts a little funny, it looks like. Alright, so let's put the first one right here. Come on. Yeah, they get like caught up in the tree, which is kind of weird. Alright, you're gonna play, so you're gonna be stupid, or what's going on? That's kind of funny. You should place it in the sky here. <laughs> uh, we'll just place it right there for now. It's close enough. We might have to do some fan dangling later, but. Alright, let's go with a splitter. Uh, I have found lately that using a splitter, instead of like turning your belts, just keeps it so much nicer. 
A little more materials, but everything is nice and straight. And then you can always uh, branch off later when you need to. Alright, let's go... This would be a bit annoying because it is going to bend all weird. And I'm pretty sure... Yep, I didn't put that properly. Oh, well, we'll go into this side. Okay, so... We need to run some power lines. Let's put... Uh, well, off of you, we can go here. From you to you. I'll put you going forward. This will be the one that we branch out up over there. And then we'll put another set here so we don't have to worry about if we add more. We'll put this one, uh, say, here. This will tie into that as well. And I think I already had a little bit of coal. No, I left it up there. Crap. All right, let's get some coal really quick. We don't need much, just enough to uh, basically fire up one of these things. Once one's fired up, it should be self-sufficient. Fabrics. All right, what is that? Uh, what does that do for us? New parts. It just makes fabric. But what is... Oh, I guess I have to make it and then research it, I guess? Yeah. Oh, what did that... What did that do? This type of mycelia has strong healing properties. R&D has created a blueprint you can access in Hub Tier 3. Healing properties? We can eat the magic mushrooms? Is that what it's telling me? Medicinal and... What is... Can we inhale to fully restore health? What?! Wow, that would probably have been a lot, a lot useful last time. All right, let's check it on this fabric and see what this does. New specimen. This fabric is suitable for the creation of parachutes. Parachutes. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier Two. Parachutes? We like jumping out of planes and stuff now. Parachute. Let's see here. Slows your fall down when activated in midair. Huh. Well, I'm not worried about that right now. All right, let's uh, let's let the let the I cannot talk. Let's let the factory run for a little while while we uh, go explore and maybe see if we can find uh, a couple new areas that I want to expand to. Oh, oh, oh! Don't don't miss! Oh, don't! Whoa! Whoa! It's one of those uh, green spitting dudes. Whoa! That's right. Suck on that. You know, <laughs> I really like that you can cheat the game by, like, uh, getting in your vehicle because they don't see you when you're in your vehicle, or whatever. But it's also like so cheap. A little bit of lag right here. <laughs> the last one of these guys that I killed, I did the exact same thing. He uh, glitched into the side of the vehicle and just took a bunch of shots to the face. And I don't mind cheating the system. Oh! How many shots does this guy take? All those ones I hit him with probably weren't actually hitting him. There we go. Whew. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Am I? A summer sloop. I don't think I got one of these last time. It's weird that it was talking to me though. Um picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Multiple fix it personnel. What? Well I'm gonna take you, even if you do kill me. Uh 
I'm excited for once they actually get that stuff uh, actually in the game. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so um, if I'm not mistaken, these little islands out here, I think it's those ones, or maybe right there, is where there's a little bit of um, there's oil on those. The spot we started building in season one, the very beginning, was just past this rock here, and then like through the desert, obviously. Um, but what I want to do, I realize it's super dark again, and I really wish we could get this had some lights, like just I want to put lights everywhere. Um, straight down this road, I believe, somewhere over here, is the, um, well, there's the space elevator, so it's straight that way. Anyways, I want to use this area for the stuff that we're currently producing, because, obviously, there's only one node there, and it's kind of tight, and I'd like to really produce a lot of stuff. And here, we've got, I think there's three pure iron nodes right around here. There's also a copper node that's also pure, and I think two pure limestone nodes. So if we use this area, this, like, clean this whole top up. Uh, something down there? But I saw something down there. Um, if we clean this whole area up and make this our, like, main production, and then just, like, truck it or, like, uh, conveyor it over this way, we should be able to produce quite a bit of stuff here. And I'm really thinking that the difference between this season and last season is I think we just put multiple plants all over the place and then truck them into one main area. Whereas before we used to think like in terms of like a hub, very similar to Factorio, which I don't think is smart in this game. I think it's easier just like to find the areas where the items can be produced all at once, all right there, and then move to where you need them or whatever. I don't know. So anyways, I'm gonna head back to our base for a minute what the hell is this? Um, I kind of went up like above our little area here and I don't know what this is and I don't know how to get over there. If I jump I'm gonna die and oh, oh that was close and I don't have any uh, materials to pull it over. Well, oh no! Oh. We make it? Oh, we made it. But now I don't know if I can get up all the way or not. Oh, 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 see through the world. Oh, the lag got me. Okay, guys, so I spent a little bit of time kind of away from where I thought we were going to build. Um, there's another slug up there. These things are just everywhere. Uh, so our space elevator's here, obviously, and the area that I said I wanted to build was kind of over there. But there's so many little nodes around here that I, I figured it was hard to ignore. So for now, what I've done is I've built a um, reinforced plate factory. Now, can I get on top of this and show you? Possibly. Uh, so basically what it is, is, I mean, it's a pretty simple setup, nothing spectacular. Uh, there is two uh, miners over here, and then they go into the smelters, which is just for iron plates. Uh, these are um, in pure nodes, so they're not the greatest, but they work. And same with these ones over here. They're not, they're in pure, so they can only produce 30 out of a miner, which is a little rough. But if, you know, what else are we going to use this stuff for? We might as well use them and just have them producing for us. So, this setup here consists of two smelters of iron and two smelters of copper. And now what this is going to do, these are going to output... Uh, into four constructors for wire and the plates are gonna or the iron is gonna go into two constructors for plates now I'm using the alternate recipe I researched it from the hard drives we we're lucky we got the uh, what is it called the uh, stitched iron plate which is wire instead of screws and it produces three instead of like four uh, instead of five no sorry it produces five per minute whereas this one produces seven and a half so we'll get 15 instead of 10. now the good thing about this setup is there's a little bit of excess in the wire we're going to produce 180 and we only need 150 between the two assemblers so the excess is going to come in here and it's going to fill exactly what we need for cable so that there should be zero wastage of this but the cool thing is if i want to expand this which we probably will if i double this um, all we'll have to do is add one extra node or smelter worth of 
iron plates, and then a little bit of overclocking on our wire, and we should have just enough to do, um, instead of two assemblers, it'll be five assemblers, which will be kind of nice. Or we can overclock them or whatever. Anyways, I think I'm about to turn this thing on, so I added an extra coal generator just in case. I'm not really sure if this is going to blow up or not, but uh, let's find out. As long as everything's actually hooked up, that is, this should uh, produce relatively quickly. And nothing's hooked up. Why is nothing hooked up? Oh, it might take a second to actually start drilling, I suppose. Alright, so that's going. Oh, is the other one going, I wonder? Heh, <laughs> you have to tell them to smelt. That'll do it. <laughs> oh, what a cluster. So, I also cheated the system here a little bit. This belt shouldn't go this long, so I put a temporary platform here. And get rid of you. And then I just deleted the platform and made it so it works. And I know it's cheating, and I don't really care. Because I, this will, I mean, this whole thing will probably be moved or changed a little bit, especially if we double this up. We might have to do some adjustments. There's also a Mercer sphere up here, but it's a, still a work in progress, so I'm going to leave it for now. So the second thing I want to do today, now that this is up and running somewhat, I think we should have our first couple plates coming in in a second here. Yeah. So what I want to do though is I want to take this set of nodes there's four nodes right here and I want to produce the rotors now I can't see it because I don't have a bench over here let's just click and throw one down let's throw it backwards because why not uh, rotors take oops, um, just rods and screws so basically just rods and I think what we're gonna do is I think we can use all four of these nodes. They're again, they're in pier, so they kind of suck. Okay, so working on our rotor plant. Uh, like I said, I'm going to use these four nodes. There's, yeah, there's four, four here. So I have to put the smelters down, and I actually found this plant online, which I want to try out. Um, so basically, what it's going to do is it's going to have four smelters. They're going to go into these eight constructors. And all eight of these constructors are going to end up being um, for iron rods. Now, the rods are going to come out, and these five constructors are going to be for screws. Uh, these three over here are going to end up going straight into our assemblers, which are going to be over here somewhere. Now, the problem is, these produce um, 15 each, and the assembler needs to have 18 each. So what we're going to do is this one over here is actually going to get split off and then re-merged. So a third of it is gonna go into here, which will be um, screws, like I said, but we'll have to probably um, underclock it a bit, which I'll unlock that right away here and we'll fix. So then what'll happen is um, the split will happen here, but then it'll re-merge and go straight across and then split into these three mergers which will make up the difference for our 18. So it'll be a little bit less than uh, five full machines running for screws. And as far as I can tell, this will make three full assemblers making 18 rotors per minute. So it's a little bit of a confusion with logistics, but I haven't had to do this yet. So we're going to uh, hope this works. So as far as I can tell, we have to split it. I'm just going to split it straight here. And then uh, we'll, hmm, we'll put a merger straight out of here. Going this way. I should have to be like here, I think. Maybe a little bit more farther forward if I can. Yep, I should be able to. Very tricky. That's not what I wanted. There we go. The issue is I have to get this up and over here. It's really kind of dumb. Like you can, you can go right through these and it works fine. But like I can put this here, no problem. But I can't place it here because of the stupid connector. Like it's really weird how some of the logistics work in this. Uh, let's see if I can get this up and over. 
I don't have these in my bar yet. Let's put these here. So if I put this in line, say here, I'm hoping we can go up and above. It'll just make it a little bit nicer. Oh, perfect. Okay. So then this will split and go... Really? That's an invalid shape? Oh, boy. How about from this side? Oh, no. I'll have to go a little bit farther forward with it, I guess. Oh, the fun and excitement. Okay, let's try this again. So let's go... There, I guess. And hopefully this will still get us up and over. It's a really tight climb right there, so... Oh, don't stand on the belt. Uh, again, if you guys notice that I'm... If you guys see any lag, I really uh, want to apologize for that. I just moved, and my internet is, like, okay. But I'm in the mountains in a small town now. And I've been getting a little bit of lag that I'm not really used to getting. So, I... Really? I'm out of iron plates? Okay, one second. So, while I'm collecting our plates, I decided to check on our power, and when I re... like, got this plant running because we were actually producing plates again, uh, I noticed our power is quite high versus what we have with that new plant running. And if I, um, turn on this new area we're making for rotors, that's three more assemblers, that's 45 in itself, uh, we need to double, double this power plant really quick. So I'm going to rip the power plant down, clear out all these trees that are annoying. And we're just going to quickly redesign this to uh, accommodate three more generators. And that should be good for now. It should be good to the point where we can get to oil, which I think is only a little ways away. We're uh, bombing through this pretty fast, I realize. But I just recently showed you guys all this, so I don't think I need to show everybody again. So... I'm going to kill our power for a minute, and rebuild this thing. Okay, what's our power looking like? Alright, we're all hooked up, we're at 300. I'm, uh, scared to turn this on. Actually, it's should be fine, really. We haven't added anything special to this yet, so let's go from here. If I can click it, come on. Hit it. Come on. Fine. We'll go from here. You connect or what? There we go. Okay, so as I was doing before, this should connect like that. Now, this should work where, like I said, after just quickly research. Oh, I, forgot, I should have done that while I was down there. Um, we just have to dial this back a little bit. But this should now split um, one third of the rods that way and two thirds this way. And then I have to come over here now. And we have to split them into these three. So I think I'll just put a splitter. Oh, it's too bad it's not lined up. I wonder if I can line this up a little better. Okay, so this is kind of the moment of truth. Um, we've got three, uh, what do you call them here, assemblers set up for our rotors. So again, it's going to do uh, 18 a minute. And I know this looks like kind of a mess, but it, it does make sense. So what we've got here is these can't run these three come out and they go into mergers which then go towards the three um assemblers and these are three plates that same thing they go into the assemblers now it looks like a mess because this one here second from the end gets split three ways and ties into the mergers and same with the far one and this is gonna be the one that's gonna be like a little underpowered which I'm not going to worry about it for now. It'll produce a little extra and it won't hurt nothing. It'll, if nothing else, it'll back the rest up a little bit, which will be okay. Um, but that also splits into these and they tie into the mergers, which then go into there. And I just realized these belts are not going to be big enough. Huh. So I screwed up a little bit. How many is this going to take in? 132 and I can only put 120. I have screwed up something fierce. <laughs> well, first of all, I need to upgrade all of these because I didn't do that. 
Oh boy. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to upgrade these really fast and then we'll turn on the power and well, it won't work the way it's supposed to, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Let's uh destroy our power a little bit if I can connect it to this one. Oh, are you ready for it? How bad did we do? I mean, it should take a minute to ramp up, so it shouldn't uh, be too bad. As soon as all the machines are going, though, it's going to be rough. But these machines are actually starting to back up a little bit, which is nice, because we haven't been using them a whole lot. Or, I've been letting them run while this has been going. So, as long as these are all running, which they look like they all are, perfect. So guys, I realize we're uh, doing the same things we just did recently in our last few episodes, but we're almost back to where we once were. Uh, we are not quite to, to oil and stuff yet, which is where we were, but we are playing with a little bit more efficient um, builds already. You know, this is going to help us quite a bit. We're going to have rotors produced pretty fast, and I think we're off to a better start than we were last time, so I, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, anyways, guys, this is what we're going to call this episode, so I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, we'll get right back into some new stuff next time. And, you know, if you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, comment, share, all of that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out and bearing with me on this uh, second season restart. But, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys, and uh, I will see you next time.